TikTok. I'm sick of TikTok and Facebook. TikTok is a great place to get medical advice. Well, unless there's doctors that work at TikTok. Medical, you want doctors this is promoting man. it to help vaccinate. TikTok. TikTok. They didn't go medical school, did <laughs> you? No, it now, won't you again. ask your nganga, your doctor at your clinics, whether, whatever community you're from, you go and ask your doctor. If you're scared about getting the vaccine, you ask them and they will tell you. Oh, wow. I got asthma and I went and I asked my doctor well, and I got my know. shot, Yung and Thandak. Already, I'm waiting for my second one now. But I got asthma. There's a lot of other people that are sick and they got theirs. No. You can try to check out. Don't listen to TikTok. So this is gammon. Go away, TikTok. Don't come back. Many of the people on TikTok have just putting their two cents worth in. They're, they're people with no scientific background, no scientific training at all. There are some doctors on TikTok that do say some really useful things on TikTok. But really, you've got to be really careful about who it is that's saying what on TikTok. And sometimes you don't know. So it's much better to go to someone you know, someone you trust, and a registered health professional. Our system is built around making sure that there's checks and balances and regulatory systems to stop registered health professionals from giving you misinformation. You want to be part of the X-Men? No. <laughs> well, it turns you into magnetic, no. supposed to be. The vaccine makes you magnetic. Well, I hope I was oh, let me magnetic. Try, let me try it on and you. Say, oh, you can enter them when you're in the I'm going to I'm going to Really? Can we call you an ex-woman? Larissa, if it happens. <laughs> <laughs> if it's next to me. I'm going to start crying. I've got a thing. Let go, yad. There's nothing. There's your child. There's gammon. Well, as you can see, I'm not part of the X-Men. <laughs> I'm not magnetic or anything. So this is gammon, or jerim nana. Ah wa. Ah wa, dengan dalam test mel jangan on jangan on one side bagan. Kalau dengan nan side tanda ke lah. Nan side yang tanda kan daripada side. First one dengan nan side, dengan second one. Yeah. What if mana lembang? Lai, yang ini cakap ni. Kalau mana lek, mana lek nana. Cakap pun. Well. Oh, nak kalah? Nan side. Nan side lah. Hmm. Jigit. Hey, well, you're right, dear. I did go over there, Mamma. Or just to not right, man. Legal, well, none then peacing. Alan, I love you. No, you could never put cheap here. I'm a koala. Just one collects born egg, yeah, man. That's your proof. Born egg, yeah. Self for one another. We saw those pictures early on where people reckon spoons were sticking to their bodies and swearing that was the vaccine and the vaccine contained graphene oxide. It's all rubbish. The vaccine does not contain graphene oxide um, and the vaccine does not make you magnetic. This is your favourite one. Uh, hot weather will kill the virus anyway. <laughs> is that why we got all them airplanes here? Now you're playing thing, don't let them Our virus, my friends, will hear you to check. Don't let me let you are you a nurse? You should know this. <laughs> now, um, this year. it does. Like, I can say it's true. Sometimes the hot weather help melon, would think, but it's not. Well, we ain't got no 50 degrees here. We'll be dead. We'll be dying if that if we got that heat here. But no, it won't. It's gammon. I don't know why you might believe Facebook and TikTok and everything. Mm. There's some evidence that really hot weather makes a difference. We're talking greater than 50 degrees in terms of the virus. So we have, thankfully at the moment, very few days in this country or no days where we're over 50 degrees. Global warming, maybe that's where we're heading, but not right now. So don't rely on heat to kill this virus. Even on a really hot day, even when it's over 40 degrees, don't rely on heat. It's not enough to kill the virus. It's a very, this virus survives in all sorts of conditions on all sorts of surfaces and can easily be transmitted from person to person. Thanks for listening, everyone. Um, this is Dr. John Boffer signing off now, and I hope you found that useful.